Jason was the nicest and kindest and most righteous person I ever knew. Friends and family of Jason Clearman are mourning his death. His wife told me she and her husband were driving down Brady Street Tuesday night when they saw a bicyclist riding recklessly. She was not ready to be on camera, but says at a stoplight, the man on the bike punched her husband in the passenger seat through the open car window. She pulled over onto the Holton Bridge and says her husband got out of the car and that's when the man on the bike shot him. Jason was the kind of person who always wanted to right every wrong. And, you know, he, he felt something was wrong there and he, 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 would, he would get out and try to make it right. And I guess that's what he wanted to do. And, you know, and this guy pulled out a gun and shot him in the head. His wife says she saw the bicyclist take off from the scene. He went down these steps here and onto Water Street where he got away. As Milwaukee police continue to search for the man on the bike, they returned to the scene Wednesday. And Clearman's family is now asking anyone who may know the killer to step forward. Anything that was wrong in the world just uh, made him angry and he wanted to make it right. And he, he, li he lived his life to the very last moment doing that. In Milwaukee, Hannah Hillier, WYSN 12 News. And three members of Milwaukee's Common Council put out a statement on his death late this afternoon saying Clearman's loss will be felt particularly hard on the south side as he served on various boards as well as neighborhood associations. Police have not yet released a detailed suspect description.